Hey, welcome back to New World Nerds. I'm Superman Nico, and in this video, I will be explaining what Rogue One, a Star Wars story, is to the casual fan. Careful for spoilers for all of the Star Wars movies and minor spoilers for Rogue One, but keep in mind that I haven't seen the movie and I'm just getting this from the trailers. Speaking of trailers for this movie, they can be confusing to a lot of people because The Force Awakens just came out last year and spoiler alert, Darth Vader shows up in the trailer. This will hopefully answer all of your questions as a casual fan. I got this idea whilst explaining this to a friend of mine who has seen all the movies because they are quote, badass, unquote, but doesn't keep up with the immense lore that is the Star Wars universe. Before we start, I'm going to be talking about these movies in chronological order in relation to the Star Wars timeline, not by the years of which they were released. The prequel trilogy consists of Episode 1, A Phantom Menace, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, and Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. These movies are centered around Anakin Skywalker and his rise to becoming a Jedi and his fall and eventual seduction to the dark side and becoming Darth Vader. The next three installments we have are part of the original trilogy that consists of Star Wars Episode 4, New Hope, Episode 5, Empire Strikes back and episode 6 Return of the Jedi. Now that Lucasfilms, the studio that produces all these movies, has been bought by Disney, it's been announced we're getting a whole new trilogy and a series of spin-off movies. This is why we got The Force Awakens, which was set 30 years after the sixth installment Return of the Jedi. Now, where does Rogue One fit in this timeline? Rogue One is set right in between episode 3 and 4. Anakin has already become Darth Vader and is at the height of his powers at the time of this film. The character Darth Vader doesn't meet his end until episode 6 Return of the Jedi. Rogue One is centered around a ragtag team of rebels led by Jyn Erso on a mission to acquire the plans to the Death Star. These are the same plans that Princess Leia stows away in R2-D2 that kick off Episode 4, A New Hope. These plans aid our heroes in the destruction of the Death Star at the climax of this film. This is as simple as I can put it to you. Here are Episode 1, 2, and 3. Here is Rogue One. Here is Episode 4, 5, and 6. And out here is Episode 7. Rogue One will not be centered around any of the characters from the main story, but it was, still has a great impact on the Star Wars universe. The reason that our new heroes Finn, Rey, and Poe Dameron aren't going to be in this movie is because it is set 40 to 50 years before the events of The Force Awakens. If you're looking for a sequel to The Force Awakens, Episode 8 will come into theaters December 15th, 2017. I hope this video is helpful to you casual fans, diehard fans, let me know how I did. If you happen to watch this video after you've already seen the movie, leave a comment down below on what you guys thought of it, and if you want this channel to review it. If this video was helpful at all to you and you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below. As always, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else. And if you simply can't get enough of us, follow us on Twitter at New World Nerds or follow me at Superman Nico. Keep nerding out there, true believers.